Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the lead code question number 9, palindrome number. Given an integer x, return true if x is a palindrome and false otherwise. We are given an example here where x is 121. If you reverse 121, it will be again 121. So it is a palindrome. So we are returning true. There is an another example given here. Here x is minus 121. So if we reverse the integer, it will become 121 minus, which is not a palindrome. So we are returning false. And there is another example given here where x is 10. So if you reverse the integer, it becomes 0, 01. 0, 01 is not a palindrome. So we are returning false. We are given a follow up here. It is mentioned that could you solve it without converting the integer to string. I hope the question is clear. Now let's get into the approach. The first step of the approach is if the number is negative, we can immediately return false because all negative numbers cannot be a palindrome. If the number is a positive number, we can first reverse the number and compare the number with the reversed number. If the both the numbers are same, we can return true, else we can return false. For example, let's assume that our number is 121 and we can initialize reverse number as 0. As a first step, in order to reverse this number, we have to find out what is the last number. In our case, the last number is 1. One of the approaches of finding the last number is finding the mod. In this case, 121 mod 10 is equal to 1. The mod function returns the remainder. Now let's assign remainder variable to 1. Now we can use this formula reverse number equals to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus remainder. In our case, reverse number is 0. So 0 multiplied by 10 is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Now we got the last number which is 1 in the reverse number. The next step is to chop the number 1 and we need only the number 12. One of the ways of finding the number 12 is to do integer division. So 121 divided by 10 is equal to 12. In Python to do integer division we have to use double slash. Now we will initialize 12 as our number. So 12 becomes our new number. Now we will repeat the same steps again. So in our case, the number is 12 and the reverse number is 1. In order to find the last digit, we do 12 mod 10, which is equal to 12 and we are assigning 2 as our remainder. So 2 becomes our remainder and we will use our formula reverse number equals to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus remainder. In this case, 1 multiplied by 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. So our reverse number becomes 12. Now we have to remove the last number which is 2. In order to do that we are dividing 12 integer division 10 is equal to 1. So we are bringing 1 as our new number. Now our new number is 1 and we are repeating the same steps again. Our reverse number is 12. In order to find the remainder we are doing mod operation. 1 mod 10 equals to 1 which is our remainder. Now we have our reverse number and our remainder and using our formula we are finding the reverse number. Our reverse number will be 121. Now if we integer divide 1 by 10 the answer is 0. So we are bringing 0 as our number. Our new number is now 0. Once we reach 0 we will compare the reverse number with our original number. If both are same, we will return true, else we will return false. I hope the approach is clear. Now let's get into the implementation. As a first approach, I will solve this by converting the integer to a string. Return string of x equals to string of x in Python. We can reverse the string using this operation. 
colon colon minus 1. We are converting this integer to a string and then we are reversing this integer. If both are same, it returns true, else it returns false. This is one way of solving this problem. Since in the question it is mentioned that we should not convert the number to a string, we will solve this without converting the number to a string. Let me comment this. As a first step, if the number is a negative number, we will immediately return false. If x less than 0, return false. Then we will initialize the variable reverse number, reverse number equals to 0. Before we perform the reverse operation, we will assign the value of the number x to a variable y, y equals to x. We will iterate until x is greater than 0, while x greater than 0, we will find the remainder, remainder equals to x mod 10. Now using our formula, we will find the reverse number. Reverse number equals to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus remainder. Now in order to chop the last digit, we will do integer divide 10 x equal to x integer divide 10. Now we will compare the number and the reverse number. If y equals to reverse number return true else return false. That's pretty much it. Now let's submit it. The solution got accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of x. We are iterating through all the numbers of the x. The space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space. I hope you like this video and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.